Welcome to the Wasteland News Network. Today is December 15th, 2020, and servers are currently undergoing maintenance while they install the Season 3 scoreboard. In addition to that, we have quite a few patch notes to go over. So here's all the news. As mentioned, this is the final patch for Fallout 76 this year, and it will bring us the Scribe of Avalon scoreboard when the servers go back online. Season 3 will bring new rewards like Light Allies, Backpack Flares, Perfectly Preserved Bubblegum, Antique Speed Bag, and Perk Coins. In addition to that, they're going to, they've fixed the core vault objects for our camp building. We've had the great walls and ceilings, so they're doing a better version of the floor and a new doorway wall, which we've all been wanting, and a vault-themed door to match. Those are great things to add to your current shelters. And they fixed the encampment gate. It can now be centered between the posts. They also addressed a camp budget exploit related to patio chairs. And the best thing on this list is the vault catwalk. The straight sections of the vault catwalk can now be properly snapped to the corner pieces. So it looks like I can rebuild that catwalk and stop getting frustrated over what I think is my error. So anyways, that's all been fixed. There were a number of fixes related to challenges, but the one I picked up on this list was plans. They fixed an issue that prevented the plan for the poodle sleeping bag from dropping as a reward for level 50 plus players in daily ops. So now the sleeping bag plan will drop. Also inside the shelters, they've actually removed the spawn point right inside the shelter door. So we can now put floors right up to the edge of the shelter doors. Now it's going to exclude traps and pressure plates. Now they've left, they started with that in the PTS where you could put traps and pressure plates there. Then they built a no spawn area inside, but then they realized people wanted to cover the entire floor with the floors and change it to carpeting or whatever. So that's now being fixed. They've also fixed a case where large shelter entrances could not be placed near water and uh, pro programmable objects related to lighting can now be programmed and retain their settings between play sessions. Also, there is also Collectron stations have added sound effects that will play when opening or closing the containers attached to Collectron stations. And that's also a reminder, if you have one of the Santatron, the Santa Collectron stations, make sure you set it Thursday to collect holiday gifts. And that's everything for the last patch of 2020. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you out in the wasteland.